All right, so right now we're going to create our um, we're going to create our puppet using Adobe Photoshop. I went online and I found a light and little puppet, and I'm going to use this to show you guys how to use the parenting tool and how to create a puppet the hard way in Photoshop. I mean, in Adobe After Effects. But first, we got to um, separate our layers um, of the puppet or whatever you're going to use. It might be a picture of yourself in Adobe Photoshop. I'm on a CS3. I know, old, but you know, that's what I got. So, gotta use what you got, right? Well, um, while we're doing this, check me out on adubproductions.com, as I mentioned before. You know, find your find your uh, puppet wherever you saved it at. I saved mine on desktop. Open it up. And first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna want to separate our puppet from the background. You click on the background and double click on it and just uh, press OK and that what that does is just changes the name so it like you can actually do stuff to it I don't know exactly just do it so I'm gonna pick the magnetic lasso tool to select my puppet so um, this part is quite um, long so just bear with me here I'm gonna try to do this fast for the sake of the tutorial but when you do it you're gonna want to take your time and you know get a good selection um, so that everything is done nice and neat. So what I'm doing is the magnetic lasso tool actually just uh, you know if you have a solid background like I have my background is solid white you drag the magnetic lasso tool around and um, it actually like locks onto the pixel so it traces the object for you so, um, so that uh, saves time so you don't have to like you know click 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 along but I'm clicking just to you know for accuracy every so often like I said, this is time um, intensive right here, so you guys can fast forward it if you want to. But just uh, cut it back on when I'm done, because uh, the next step to this you're going to want to know if you don't already know it. Hope you guys had a great New Year. Um, I had to work New Year's Day. Um, I, I wasn't at work all day, though, but, but you know, I worked overnight. kind of sucked. Everybody was out partying. And I was at work that night. But it's okay. Hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? All right. Um, almost halfway around. Uh, I'm going to be working on a movie soon. I'm still in film school, but I want to, like, create something and finish a project so I can see where I am, where my skill level is, and where I need to be. See, you know, how realistic I can get this... Uh, a movie to look. I started working on this project a few months ago, um, maybe about a year ago. It's called Duffel Bag. I had the um, little small trailer up. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but I'm gonna um, actually reshoot that and um, see how it goes. I'm trying to make a whole movie out of it. So uh, you know that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna see where I am with that. Okay, so just you can just gonna trace around the magnetic lasso tool is doing most of the work. Tracing around, tracing around, almost done, almost there. And what we're doing right now is we're separating the uh, our thing, puppet, whatever we're gonna use to to turn into a puppet. We're separating it from the background so that it'll be separate. And what the the reason why I chose the magnetic lasso tool is because it has this feature when you select your when you're done selecting an object that you can't do with the uh, with the quick selection tool and I'll show you in a second okay so when you reach the end you're going to see a little zero like a little um, little circle that's how you know you're about to close your uh, selection okay so we've closed the selection now we can see what we selected right there oh, okay, sorry um, what we're going to do is we're going to double click with two fingers on the Mac mouse pad and you're gonna um, click on this option right here layer via cut and what that does is over here you can see it created a layer out of what I selected so you could actually take this and you could erase it because now we got what we want which is oops sorry oh, okay wait deselect command Z command D rather okay so we got what we wanted, which is our, our, our guy right here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing for each limb. So I'm going to pick the magnetic lasso tool again, and boom. We're going to select the arm, 
trace around the arm. As I said, this is kind of intensive. Trace around the arm and select that. So now you got a selection of just the arm. Boom. All right. Double click, layer via cut. So we're going to call that layer right there. This is the click on it and change the name of it. We're going to call this, I guess, um, right arm. All right. Okay, so now you see the right arm here and no right arm here. So now let's select the body. Okay, click on the literature, you know, um, tracing. Let's do the body. Right around the bottom of the head right there. Okay, it's kind of sloppy, but you're going to do yours neater, of course. This is just for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, so boom, got the body. Got the body, yaddy, yaddy. Close that. Okay. Layer via cut. Okay, so now you got the body. Body. Boop. Select. Now we're going to get the head. Actually, let's get the arm first. Pick what we're doing here. Boom. 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 Da 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 da. Let's get the other leg. Let's get the leg right here. Um, this is the left leg. Actually, you know what we could have did? Um, <laughs> we could have just did this from the beginning. You know what I mean? Instead of uh, separating the whole character. Duh, that's what we should have did. So um, that's what you guys are going to do. You're not going to like... What, I, what I'm doing right now is I, I'm, I'm just doing work twice. Which is kind of stupid. But hey... Um, I didn't think about it before I started, so it is what it is. Okay, we got a problem here. We got the groin. Uh, I'll fix that. It's all right. Boom. Okay. Layer via cut. Okay. Always name your layers. Layer. I'm um, gonna call this the left leg. Mm -hmm. Select what we are. Thing. Okay, now we gotta get the groin. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's gonna be part of this um, right leg groin area. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start making a bunch of tutorials for you guys, and uh, I'm just really like not sure, like what to make right now that's why I haven't really been doing that much stuff on here because I don't know it's pretty much a lot of tutorials out here Little video cut and I'm not sure like what I should what I should do I don't want to like duplicate anybody's thing actually I don't care because I think I the way I do my my tutorials I uh, make it more make it easier you know the last one the head I think like I don't, know, I don't use a lot of terminology. I try to like make it real simple so you guys can understand what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Okay, and layer via cut. I got the last layer, which is the head. And guess what? If you turn this off, we got the whole character. So the last layer shouldn't have anything on it. Like if you, if you like take all this off boom we just see a little small outline of, of, of the things that we didn't select so we can actually delete this layer right here delete that layer and turn on all the other layers and there is our character now we're gonna save it we're gonna save that save save as a PSD um, we can save it as a PSD because I think I think um yeah you can save it as a PSD 
I think um, After Effects recognizes that file. You want to save the layers, save it. I'm just going to put it on my desktop for tutorial purposes. You know what? Just to double make sure, I'm going to save it as something else also. Um, just in case Photoshop doesn't recommend that. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it as PNG. No, because PNG doesn't have the layers. Okay, so yeah, the um, PSD is fine. Um, soon we'll find out. Yeah. Um, so it is TIFF also. Okay. But this is the figure. So, okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. okay. Um, so, okay, we got two files on our desktop. We got the PSD and the TIFF file. Okay, so, um, that's basically it for right now. Um, go check out the, the we, we've created our figure and we've, um, separated the parts from the, the, we separated the body. So now we can import that PSD into After Effects and we can start parenting it and animating it. Alright, so, uh, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Check out the rest of the, this, the purpose for this, which is animating, um, a, a figure or animating anything and parenting, which means putting the parts together so that when I move the body, the whole thing that we separated moves. And when you move the body, then you can animate the arm, make the arm go up and so on and make it, you know, HUD, do whatever, you know what I mean, like that. So, yeah, check out the rest. Um, hope this was helpful. AWproductions.com. Also, check out my album on iTunes. It's called Rockin' with the Best. Um, search A slash D-U-B-B, A-Dub. Check me out. I right, hope this was helpful. Have a good day.